We're so excited as we welcome you back because this week we have actually started our brand new segment highlighting great people and great things going on in the community. Out on the Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages porch, you'll meet artists and hear about events around the metro that make this such a great place to live. News 9's Jordan Ryan is on the Coca-Cola porch now. Hey, Jordan. Hey, you guys. Today I am so excited because we have a guest representing an organization that is so important to our community, the Care Center. You guys do so much. You are advocating for children consistently every day doing prevention as well. This is Shelby Lynch here. Shelby, can you tell us about the ROAR program? What does ROAR stand for? Absolutely. So the ROAR program is the Care Center prevention education program for kids ages four to eight. So ROAR is an acronym that stands for R, remember, privates are private, O, okay to say no, A, always talk about secrets, and R, raise your voice and tell someone. So my education team and I, we are out in the community, we're out in schools, daycares, churches, any youth serving organization, and teaching kids just the very basics of body safety and empowerment. We want every child in Oklahoma County and the state and the nation at large to understand that they have rights that their body belongs to them and to make sure that they are protected from any type of abuse. It is so important to share this information with our children. You guys recently received an accreditation so that you can go national with this program. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So we are absolutely thrilled and honored um, to receive this accreditation. Um, we are governed by a body called the National Children's Alliance, and they are a group that um, sets standards for every child advocacy center across the nation. So Recently, I submitted um, the ROAR program to their offices to say, hey, we've got something really special and really wonderful here in Oklahoma County, and we want to share it with the nation. Thankfully, they agreed that our program is fantastic, and it's wonderful and amazing and doing incredible and crucial work. And so because of that accreditation, that means that we are able to push out ROAR to any other youth-serving organization, not only in Oklahoma County, in the state, but also nationally. So our little program here in Oklahoma is going nationwide and we're so excited about this opportunity through NCA. That is incredible because you're gonna impact so many children you already have here in Oklahoma 80,000 kids yeah. have been impacted by your program? Absolutely, yes. Um, we're so thrilled and excited to share this number. Um, since program inception in 2017, we've educated, I believe it's over 80,000. Wow. Um, we have been so busy in all of these different organizations, making sure that kids really understand that their bodies belong to them and how important it is to stand up and speak out against any type of abuse or maltreatment or any unsafe situation that they might find themselves in. How how can people access your programs online or do they do it through their school? Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to access our programs. We do have a virtual ROAR component um, and you can access that through our website. It's carecenter-okc.org. Um, you can also um, email us. You can invite us to come out to your space and we will do a full training for you. There's lots of different ways to utilize our programs and to make sure it gets into your space and reaches the kids in your life. We just had Christmas break kids are heading back to the classroom. Is there any advice or anything you want parents to know? Absolutely. Um, when kids go back to the classroom, they are seeking their safe person. Um, for a lot of time, or for a lot of children, their safe person is going to be their teacher or maybe their counselor. It is usually someone at home too, but we want to make sure that kids have at least three safe adults in their life that they can always talk to no matter what. So we encourage parents and caregivers to talk to their kids about their bodies. Um, we want to encourage encourage parents and caregivers to not force kids to give any type of touch that they might feel uncomfortable with. If parents or caregivers have concerns that something might be happening to their child, it's really important to speak up and say something. Um, in Oklahoma County and in the state of Oklahoma, every adult is a mandated reporter of child abuse. So we always encourage folks if they see something, it's important to say something. Awesome. Shelby, thank you so much for your time. Such an important topic. We're so glad you were able to share it. I'm Jordan Ryan for Oklahoma Zone News 9 at the porch. Jordan. And if you have an event, an artist, something coming up that you want to feature on the Coca-Cola porch, send us an email at news9.com slash porch.